All right, so we're back creating our forum. Um, this is part three of the forum and uh, forum series, and part sixty-two or sixty-three of uh, the community site series. So um, we've just created our categories table, and we just inserted a piece of dummy data. So what we're gonna do is inside of here in our forum.php file where we have echo content. We're going to change this. Um, we're going to also add in a comment here. Um, I'm going to say start categories and end in a comment here. End categories. Okay, so inside of here, we're going to have a query. And we can't name it query because we have the other query, so we're going to name it cat query. And so cat query equals mysql underscore query. And inside of here, we're going to have our query text. So our, our query text itself is going to be select all from forum underscore categories. categories um, and we want to say where um, forum underscore ID equals and this is going to be our forum underscore ID variable so if we scroll up we have our forum ID variable right here so it's getting the individual ID values from the database for each forum so then we're selecting all of the categories are within this forum the current form it's on. So after that, we're going to have our classic num rows. Again, this is just to make sure um, there's actually categories in the database. And the reason I only created one category is to prove that um, if there's no categories, we can display whatever text we want. So we have, we need to make an if statement and put in an else, an echo. So inside of here, we're going to say if numrows is greater than zero, we're going to echo um, cat found. And if it's not, then we're going to say no cats. Ha 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 ha, no cats. So if we upload the uh, PHP file and refresh the page, you can see in our general forum, we have cat found, and in our web development forum, we have no cats, because there's no categories in the database for the web development forum. So what we need to do now is we need to um, get each piece of information that will be displayed in the categories. So we need to get our title, our, our name, our description, um, and the various things like that. So what we're going to do, instead of echoing out cat found, we're going to have our while loop, and inside of here, we're going to say um, dollar sign. We can't use row again, so I'll say cat underscore row equals mysql underscore fetch underscore a sock. Whoops. Um, and inside of here, we have our cat query. So in here, we need to get the various pieces of information from the database. So we need to get our cat name. So this is going to be dollar sign cat underscore row, and then our brackets. And inside of here, we have name. And then after that, we need to get our description. And then we need to get a description here. So if we go back and look at the database, um, so we have name, description, let's actually get structure real quick. So for now, those are going to be the only things we're going to get, um, because essentially everything else is just set to nothing. Um, so this is sort of just proof of concept here to make sure that everything's, uh, the things we need are being gotten. Um, so cat underscore name, dollar sign cat underscore description, 
and then a, a new line after it. So if we upload this file now, and if we refresh, you see we have announcements keep up to date on the site. So we've gotten our first category, our only category really, and we've gotten our text. Now the problem with how we're doing this is because there's no styling to each of these um, each of these categories, and it's just having some text in here. So what we want to do is we want to add styling to make it so it'll look real nice and everything. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need to style um, style that up. Um, so what we're going to do is where we have our start categories text or a comment, I guess. Um, I'm going to take the style code here, so the border left and border right. I'm going to hit Control X to remove it, and I'm going to change this style to say class, and I'm going to change that to say forum. I'm going to scroll up and get rid of this div ID forum. Scroll down and remove this extra div here, and then go back up here. So we have our class of forum, setting it here. Um, then in the main.css file, if we scroll up, let's see, somewhere up here, full video. Okay, so we have contents of full here. So I'm going to add in some um, comments here. So this is going to be This is going to be our forum styles here. So we're going to say pound wrapper, pound content, um, dot forum, and uh, the dot symbolizes a class, and the pound or hash symbol symbolizes um, a, an ID. So we're just going to put in our two styles right there, and then we need to upload the forum.php in the main.c. So after uploading those, if we refresh the page, we see no visible change, and that's good. That means it's working. So if we now go back to our CSS file, uh, we can copy this right here, paste it down here. So we have our forum. We also need our category. So category. So our class is going to be category. So inside of our category class, we're going to have a padding, tack left, and we'll say 10 pixels should be good. And we're also going to have a category or a padding on the right in the category. Um, and 10 pixels again should be good. And then we're going to have padding on the top and on the bottom. And in this case, we're just going to set it to 8 pixels. That should be good. 8 pixels. So, meh, yeah, that should be good. Um, so what we're going to do is in our forum.php file, where we have this echo statement here, I'm going to put in a div, say div class equals category, and space this stuff out a little bit. I'm going to get rid of this line break and end the div here. Um, so we have our, our category class now. If I uh, up, if we upload the forum.php in the main.css files now, so after we upload those files, if we refresh the index page, we have now it's it's spaced out real nicely. Um, so it's it's now it's spaced out nicely now. Um, now we also still have our no cats down here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're also going to apply this um, this code here for our class of category. We're going to go ahead and throw it down here. So we're, after we have this, we're going to have our end div. And in here we have our categories. So I'm going to change the text inside of here saying no categories were found in the um, whoops in the forum underscore name forum. So if we upload our forum now and we refresh, we have we see no categories were found in the web development forum. So everything's working there. Um, so that kind of just makes it so it, it just looks a lot nicer. So the other thing we're going to have in our category is when we have like our announcements, this will be on one line, and then we'll have 
our description on a new line kind of and, and just a little bit smaller text. So to do that, what we're going to do is, I'm going to get rid of this stuff in here, and we're going to put these in separate divs and give them a class to be named later. And we also need to put in our end div code. So our category name, we're going to create a CSS class for it. So we can go ahead and just copy that, paste it here. So inside of the categories class, we will have let's go with name. We'll just go with name for now. And we can just copy this and paste it and change this one to info. So the main thing we want to do is on the info, let's set a margin on the left. So it's going to kind of indent it a little bit. Let's go with 10 pixels. And we'll set a font size to make it just a little bit smaller. We'll set it to 14 pixels. That should be good. So now we just have to put in the class name. So we have name and info. If we upload our, CS our PHP file and our CSS file, after we upload our files, if we refresh the page, we now see announcements and we have our description that is slightly smaller. Um, but obviously something's gone wrong because our styling's kind of screwed up. So, oh, that's why, because that should be like that. So if we then upload our form PHP file and refresh, it fixes it right there. So it gives it more spacing. Um, the text is a little bit smaller and we have our title here, or our name in this case. So, so that's working, uh, and all is good. Um, but pretty soon, we're going to make this announcements text. We're going to make it a link. Um, but before we do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so every other, every other category that we display, it'll be a different color. So it'll kind of make it look a little bit nicer, at least I think. So what we're going to do is, inside this while loop here, we're going to say if dollar sign color equals equals and we'll have something in there and we'll say dollar sign color equals something else and then we'll have else color equals this so what we're going to do is I'm going to choose out two colors that we're going to use and we're going to put them in here okay so I've chosen the colors um, so if if color um, if there's no color declared then we want this to be hash or pound, depending on the country. Um, this is our default background color. Um, so we're, we're going to have no color. Or we're going to switch over to this color. And in here, we're going to put the pound or hash symbol. Um, and this actually needs to be... Um, this actually needs to be this. So, if our color is our default color, then we're going to switch, and if it's not, then we're going to go back to the original one. So, if we upload the forum file, and we can close this, um, and we refresh, you can see there's no visual change, and that's because we're using the default color, um, but for the purpose of this, I'm going to set this to this color, upload once again. And if we refresh the page, you can see, you can probably faintly see it, if at all. Um, and actually, I'm going to change this color. Um, so, 8, what was it? 8, A9, I think it was. Um, so, yeah. Then upload that. And refresh. See, so still, it's still uploading. Okay, there we go. So it's not uh, not changing because of some reason. Oh, it's not changing because I'm an idiot. Sorry. Um, because we need to apply a style, and the style has to be color, and we want to say dollar sign color. 
So if now we upload the form.php file and refresh, you can see, whoops, this needs to be background color, sorry. Making all kinds of mistakes here and or forgetting things. So if we refresh, you can see it's got this nice, this, this dark color and uh, set this back. Sorry, I'm, I'm really, really indecisive and in making a bunch of mistakes here, and I do apologize. So it's slightly darker um, than the background color. So when there's more than one category, it'll it'll make it look look nicer. So we're just gonna set this back to the default, and there we go. So if we refresh, we just have it back to the default color once it's done uploading. Okay, so after all those mistakes, I think I'm going to call this a video, um, call it the end. Um, so I'm going to stop this video here. In the next video, we'll continue on. Uh, the next video might not be for a little while, though. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.